So recently I shot two rolls of Fujifilm Provia 100F. Provia is a slide film, which means your pictures come out as positives instead of negatives. So when you develop the film, you use the E6 chemicals instead of the standard C41 for color positive film. So when the film is developed, it comes out positive instead of inverted like with film negatives. So this is the first slide film I've shot through my Pentax 6.7 and it was really cool picking up the film when it was developed. Um, I don't have a light box or anything, but even just holding up the positives to the sky. It was really cool seeing a big 6x7 positive and just being able to see the picture there. So I went out and shot the two rolls. I shot one roll doing some portraits of my friend Freddie and I shot the other roll just strolling along the beach. Testing the exposure limits and sort of doing different exposures, different ways of metering it because the two rolls went out of date in 2002. And so if I followed the overexpose it by a stop every 10 years rule, I'd be overexposing this roll by two stops. But the way the film was kept, I'd shot some other rolls of it and it seemed like I didn't need to overexpose it. I think the film had been kept in a cool place, so the chemicals in the film didn't seem to be less reactive than they should. So I always tend to go for color negative film just because of the much larger dynamic range than slide film has to offer. So with slide film, it's so easy if you overexpose it or there's a really bright highlight in the sky for the information to just clip and you'll be left with pure white or pure black in the shadows, whereas color negative film tends to, depending on the film stock you're using, but something like Portra has a crazy amount of dynamic range. So I'll always use Portra or 400H or color negative films to do my portraits with or any landscapes or just gen I just generally go to use color negative film because of the large dynamic range. And let's say you've got a really bright sky. If you scan the film really flat, you'll, you'll save the highlights. In Lightroom, you can bring the highlight shadows back Back out to how it should but without the whites or the blacks clipping. So looking back on the images I shot, the portraits came out really nice, I was really happy with them, I thought the colours were great. Lots of strong blue and green tones, the blue tones really stood out to me. I shot a couple at the beach of the ocean, the blues were intense, they were, they were vibrant. Um, I don't know if this was my scanner maybe guessing it wrong, but no, the blues really popped um, in some of these shots. So the portraits I shot and the dynamic range. Um, I was shooting in very harsh light, admittedly, but some of the shots of Freddie lying down on the ground, 
There were where the sun was being reflected on his white top. Um, the information completely clipped and it was just pure white. I don't mind too much about the shadows clipping. It's just one of my pet peeves in photography is information clipping and especially the highlights clipping. So scanning some of these shots that clipped was slightly painful, um, seeing the whites clip on his t-shirt. And there were some shots with the sun on his face and all the information, you can see it in the negative when you zoom in, or the positive, um, you can see the information is clipped and you can see on the histogram, the whites are just hitting the top of that histogram. So yeah, that was slightly painful to scan and edit, but um, no, I'm happy. There were two shots that I was really happy with. Didn't get any clipping on the blacks or whites. The colors were brilliant. Definitely want to shoot more of this film. I just think it would need to be in a maybe more controlled environment or a cloudy day. And I'm definitely gonna buy some that isn't 20 years out of date. Maybe that was part of why I had problems metering for this film. So this film has great colours and apart from the decreased dynamic range from Portrait or 408 or most colour negative films, I really enjoyed shooting it. I don't think I'm going to use this film in any more harsh light, I don't think it really works unless you want the sky to be completely clipped or for there to be no information in the shadows. Um, this isn't the film to go for, but yes, no, this film was great. Got lots more videos on the way, so stay tuned for that. Click that subscribe button and give me a like if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.